Good afternoon, guys. Low late start today. I got some leftover from the starting call, man. This cold kicking my butt. Decided to have a, I guess the weather change. It's like 50 freaking degrees out today. So I gotta get this yard cleaned up, get all these fixed up. Gotta cut this front grass. I just noticed I got mushrooms growing. <laughs> You can hear the wind, the wind's probably gonna mess with it, so I'm not gonna keep you guys on here too long. But look at that. We got mushrooms going. Yeah, you can see the grass is cut with mine. My son probably brought my lawnmower back yesterday. I'm not really feeling it, but it's gotta be done, so we're gonna do it. You can hear the wind. Yeah, that's how my day's going. Feel like crap. 50 degrees from 80 yesterday. Love it. You fall, people. I hope you're enjoying it. I'm not. But I'll be back. We're going to do some work in here. I just want to show you guys what I do. Get this stuff here done and get this cleaned up and so it's done or with. Four snows on me and then I will be in, you know what. So we're going to get this cut and get this cleaned up and. Then we'll go in there and we'll close the door and do some work on that thing. And I got a video going up with this video from yesterday that I didn't put up. I just goofed around with it, so we'll explain more later. Later. Okay, guys. Uh, we're back. Um, here's what we're doing. I got the beginning of this video is going to be up from yesterday when we did this. And I don't know. And not like in the way it came out. I mean, it's not bad. I didn't get the crackle that I thought I was going to get. It sat overnight. And yeah. And another thing I sort of thought about after I started looking at the picture and staring at it a little bit. The colors. Underneath. Putting them sporadic. I didn't get the depth effect I wanted. The mixture of that bright glow. So, I just got all the same colors out. The orange, red, and yellow. So I think it's gonna, we're gonna scratch that, and this is gonna be the beginning of turning the table into a volcano. Um, I just put some yellow on here. I want to try some stuff on this. Um, I just thought about furniture polish. Furniture polish has silicone in it. So let's spray that one. Just smear it out. Paper towel. Real lightly. So you get big globs and blah blah. Okay, let's see. Can you see that? It's a little shiny. Yeah. Okay. That has silicone and everything else, so wax and all that in it. And they actually won't give you the ingredients. You know it'll probably kill you. But yeah, and lemon. So what we're gonna do is now it leveled out. We let that dry for a second. What I'm thinking is, anything with a silicone pretty much going to give you that repellent, the eye, the fish eye, blah blah, the crackle. So, I think we're going to start this one over. And my thought is, is to blend the yellows and the orange and the red together to where you got, you start with the lighter one and then come up to um, the darkest color, red. Go from yellow, orange, and red by doing a yellow and then mixing the colors as I do them so they're blended and I think I'll get a better effect out of it that was my heater I was using that to dry it because it's cool in here I mean 50 and you freaking believe it 80 yesterday now it's 50 degrees outside that's really playing heck with my cold um here's what we're gonna do is I mean I like some parts of it and I like the red behind it so it does sort of give it that effect and when you sort of stand back yeah it does it's sort of neat but I got more red showing through than the brightness this here should have been actually the brightest part of it and it's not I got brightness here white there white coming through there and what I was thinking was when it crackled it was going to slowly show a little bits and pieces of that which made it look like the depth and it didn't I have no depth to this at all so I'm hoping by mixing the colors and fading like you would a painting after I started looking at pictures and stuff I started realizing and thinking 
let's see that's drying um that when you paint colors you blend colors and that's what gives you that effect that the change in the um and the colors from light to dark is what gives you depth that much I do know and I didn't do that all I did was apply color on top of color mix okay my batteries went dead so what I did I went ahead and painted this like I said we're eliminating the other and we're start new that's one thing about my site like I said my intro you never know what path we're gonna take you never know where we're going you never know what we're gonna do um, we could be building a rocket next week for all I know who knows um, the point is is we're gonna just do things as they go and see how they work out they either work out or they don't we start again um, I don't know what to do it's that I just didn't like that and I want depth to it I'm trying to get a little better effect what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make this part I guess part one part two part three blah blah um, I think we're gonna go with tutorial number one I the tutorial parts are hard for me to that's why I just do the DIY because it just seems simpler and I'll try to get better at the tutorials to where I can sit down and actually put it here and say okay we're going through and doing this once I get a little better plans but like I said my channel is not a planned channel I don't do things by a plan I don't believe in it I believe God has a your day planned for you so you go with it if you fight it that's when you have a bad day so if you do what he puts you here to do and you just go with it your day goes get better and you have a better day things work out now the devil will come along here once in a while and say hey why don't you come do this and you're gonna have a bad day so we're gonna try to keep it on a good day I mean you're trying to aggravate me with the cold this here started drying I'm gonna throw some paint on it once and just see uh, let's, I don't need to do this but we're gonna dip in the red a little bit we'll dip it off the lid I just want to throw it on there and see what kind of effect we get with that furniture polish. But see how that's blending. We're getting the yellow and the red. It's coming to orange. That's sort of that's what gives you depth. See, in the fire effect, and that's what we're going to try to do here again. And what I did this time is, let me. Um, I went from top to bottom. And I filled in the deepest parts in the dark yellow. So, then we're going to go down it with the red, or the orange, and then the red. And that should give me layers then, by blending them together. Then we're going to take the black and go back over that. Hopefully that works. We still got the white one over there, which I guess that's a good base coat, so it don't matter either way. Uh, I'm not going to worry about putting the polyurethane between the two, because it just really didn't seem to make a huge difference. Um this stuff here sticks pretty dang good from what I'm noticing I ain't have no problem I just went right over that and you see it's pretty covered and don't matter if some of that shows through the colors we're gonna blend them all together so and then I'm gonna start on this thing here I just want to see how that was gonna work out and dry I'm really curious um, we're gonna go into the orange next and then the red so I'll do little increments here we're gonna see how it blends um, I really want to get started on this top and the sides I know, I said yesterday, oh, it's going to be tomorrow's video. Well, tomorrow we don't feel so great. And it's not that warm out. So, we're going to do it just what we're supposed to be doing for the day. I'm going to let you guys sit there. I don't know how long this SD card, my batteries, my batteries just went dead. So now my SD card will probably go. So let's throw some orange on here. We're just going to run it in so we can blend it. We're showing them mixtures is what I'm looking for a little bit of blend and colors so one stands out with the other I want a mixture of it I don't want a solid thing I think I don't know we're gonna find out um we're looking for a blend here like I said let's see what we can do about getting these two men together and the yellow is still a little wet it's not real wet because this stuff does dry so quick but I'm trying to look for them layers to get the depth and I think this is going to work a lot better because each color is going to show through the other color and it's going to be highlighted more in certain areas if not it's a big fail and we try something else no biggie like I said in the beginning it might work it might not we don't know until we do it but I'm trying to use logic in this 
Like I said, this is my first time ever doing this stuff. I've never done this. I've painted. I paint rooms, houses, things like that. Not furniture. I mean, I used to stain furniture. So mixing all this kind of stuff, I mean, the mixtures of paints I do know about. I know how to do that very well. So that's what I'm trying to use to see what I can come up with to make this happen for everybody. For them to learn with what I got or what I put out there. We're going to keep trying and trying until we get it. That's all there is to it. And we're going to leave some dark spots too because in the, when I looked at the videos, like I said yesterday, I'd, I watched like 30 some videos and trying to get some different ideas and effects. And that's when I have, like, that one lady I watched when hers, when she mixed the paints, they blended. And that's what gave the effect. And it's like, oh, I don't know if that's going to, when I seen it, yeah, it was okay. I mean, I know this is just a practice play, but if I did want to sell a piece like this for some reason, I'd like to be able to perfect it enough that I can reduplicate it. And that's going to be the hard part, because if you can't duplicate it, well, how are you going to do the other door, and the rest of it? So, this is all about just giving it a try and see what we can come up with. Okay, now we got some orange blended in. Now, like I said, I'm trying to keep it up and down vertically. I want this to look like it's pouring through there. Over, underneath the black and all that, and blah, blah, blah. So, Basically, like it would be pouring over the top, out of the top, down the side. Now we got a nice effect there, but I don't really seem to. Maybe I didn't put enough. Let's put a little bit more on here, and we'll see if it crackles or whatever it does here when it dries. I'm just curious, see if we get any other kind of things happening. We can make things happen with different chemicals. Chemicals are what it's all about, people. That's all it comes down to at the end. It's just the chemicals mixing or not mixing, which gives you different effects. And the different effects are what you get. I mean, that's what we're looking for. And where you can use those different effects at. Okay. Now we got our orange. Clean our brush a little bit. We don't want these to dry too much because we are trying to mix them and blend them in certain areas. But we're layering them. Layering them is part of it. Okay, let's try a little red. I'm not trying to go crazy, but let's mix in the red now. Because what we're trying to get is that molten lava look. And if I sat when I sat and looked at it, it's not um, really in streak. It's like a glow. There's you have different lights and dark showing through. Is what it really comes down to. Oh darn it! That's orange, dummy. Let's cover the orange back up so we don't do that again. Don't matter. Um, but you get a glow, and that glow seems to be what. That's what I want. I want the light, light under the dark. So when it comes through, where it comes through, you got a, a really neat glow to it. And that's when I caught on to in the videos that mine didn't have a glow. Mine was just streaks of color. We don't want streaks of color. We want like an amber glow, a burning glow. Like if you look into a fireplace and you look deep into the flame and you see that glow down inside there. That's what we're looking for. It's not an easy thing to copy. Um, if it was flat, it would be. The sides and stuff, I think it would be much easier in the top because we can actually blend the colors. I think the biggest problem I'm having, I hope you guys can see any of this. Just realize that, okay. Um, you can listen to me talk. But what we're doing is, we're, when we blend them, getting that smooth blend of color is what gives you that glow under the dark not um, streaks of the color and the streaks are not that would be the flames 
but when you get that nice amber glow and that bright white light yellow and you can stare into it that's sort of what I want I mean I know I'm not an artist and I'm not that good so I'm not going for super perfection I just wanted to see if we could duplicate something close to it to get that effect <laughs> trying to blend in everywhere so we don't have no major this here is just a little yellow but I guess that would be good because it's brighter there I'm going to do a little water here I'm going to mix all this together I just hope we don't get mud what I'm trying to do is get the streaks of color like that ok we're getting closer what we're getting here is having a little bit of water let me show you a little better see how we're getting different tones of reds and oranges and yellows and all I do is take a little bit of water very little bit now I've already got the red and yellow and orange on here so now what I've done is is I take that little tiny bit of water and we work them colors together where you can see it's sort of giving me different tone of depth I got the light color under there and then we just sort of blend them together now this may come out a little better this seems to be closer to what I'm looking for see how we got the different shades that's what we want we want dark reds and yellows and red all them different things to pop through the black where it's blended we need a little more red fire in there a little less dark yeah now we're getting closer to the effect that there's got too much dark in it I'm going to try to take some of this dark away same here same there that should be a little brighter that's the top that's where it's first coming and hitting so this here should be a little bit brighter okay now we're getting it I think this might work out a little better I guarantee you, if I could do this all like sort of gives me the Santa Fe look I guess is what they call it um your California look and your Mexico and your Mexican color uh, Mexico uh, paintings where they have the different shades and um, colors the bright colors I'm hoping this works okay guys all I do is coat that with black you see how much more depth we got in that and then I went and hit the sides and the top now see how we got more depth to that I mean what's funny is when I'm looking through the lens I'm seeing bright yellow but on here it's more red but see how you got the streaks the different layers and that's what I'm looking for is that different layers of oh it's light okay there see when you get different tones and different angles you get different light color coming through and that's what I wanted more blend so when I show put the black over it I'm gonna use the black for the streaks and the lines I'm gonna put it on um I don't know I said to come out with I need something to make it look that chunky so here's what we did on the top I got a little anxious the center is gonna be white I mean I don't know if you can get my perspective here what I'm gonna do the center is gonna be where it's gonna be coming from so like a volcano would be the, that's gonna be the hottest point so that's gonna be pure white the dead in the center and then there's going to be streams running off to the corners to where to flow. I'm trying to build a flow up. So I'm going to keep doing this a couple more coats of white to get that nice and strong pure white under there. I don't want the, the lines to show through. And, and what I'm going to do is I think we're going to pour this and then mix the paint together either with a brush or with a stick or something. I think you're going to get the effect now of what I'm trying to get here. I put the picture up in the first one. If you watch my other video about the volcano, you're seeing what effect I want like it just pouring over the edges 
Yeah, that's what you just said is done. Or done is you just said. Because until you know what you're doing, it just don't happen that easy. So it's all experimental. I mean, totally experimental. It may come out looking like crap. Who knows? It may look like a giant spider web under a freaking bunch of red paint. But we're going to do our best. The whole point is, is I'm trying to spread this out. I want... Oh, that was good. Touched it. Um, that was all dry. Most of it's dry. Um, what I'm trying to do is get that depth of something coming up out of the center. And I'm going to try to get the layers on here. What I'm thinking is when I pour the other colors on here, they're sort of going to blend and swirl around. And then I might get the better effect that I'm looking for. With this got to be my base because whatever shows through at the end, that's what I'm going to have. So, we're going to hope for the best. I mean, you never know. This came out pretty good. I'm hoping that the red... I'm just going to do little parts and pieces here. And we'll see how it goes. Like I said, we're experimenting. So, hey, let's have at it. Have some fun. You never know what you're going to get to do. This is my thing for the day. So... We're going to throw some black on that. I'm going to put another coat of white on there. And I might even get to the, a little bit of pouring today. Um, my batteries are going like crazy. My SD cards keep shutting off. I mean, this is my second set of batteries. I use rechargeable batteries. And that set was just ha more than half full when I came out here. And it just died in my first video there. So, this one I just noticed that my batteries are going like freaking dropping like flies. So, this will probably be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Watch for part two tomorrow. You'll get to see what finishes this up. I'm going to close this up real quick. Hope you guys have a great day. Hope you're having fun. Enjoy your day while you can. Peace.